<coughs> Good morning. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you all had a great weekend. Um, I'm not going to do a rant today, but I am going to have a little bit of a whinge. Uh, I've got a couple of interesting things to talk about, actually. So, yesterday, our game got uh, called off when we got to Rochdale. Uh, and I don't believe it was anything to do with Rochdale Rugby League Club, to be honest. I, I, I feel quite sorry for them, as I feel sorry for us. And uh, particularly the York fans that travelled over to, to Rochdale yesterday for our game, because we got there, the pitch was still... Oh, shit. Drop the line, I'm going to have to swirl it off. Uh, we got there, the pitch were all covered up with, um, uh, got like a, a, a big sheet over it. Rochdale played at a football ground and the football team had played on the Saturday. They'd had the ground covered up uh, straight after the game Saturday because they've got a game on Tuesday. So there might be a, a clue for you. And then um, the posts weren't up. So we get there, at, I don't know, we got there about quarter past one. We walked out to the pitch like rugby players do when they arrive while the changing rooms are getting uh, set up by the kit men. And um, so it goes outside, the sheet's still on the field, the posts aren't even up. So we're like, well, what's going on here? And there's a few people congregating and, you know, having like a meeting. It was a little bit windy, you know, it was a little bit windy. It weren't that bad, you know. I've been in far worse, uh, as I'm sure most people who went to Rochdale yesterday would agree that they have as well. So, um, the stadium management company, I believe it was, uh, and I don't want to, I want to be, I don't want to point the finger too much because I don't know the exact ins and outs, but I think it was the stadium management company, the contractors that work for them, they were refusing to take the sheet off the field and put the posts up because apparently it were too windy. Uh, but I think my 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 thinking behind that is well, why weren't it done straight after? Why weren't the posts put up after the football match on Saturday? Yes, understand the sheet being put across, uh, but that sheet could have come off. So the, a lot of people that have been let down on the back of that. The York fans, I believe there were three hundred plus that travelled over to Rochdale yesterday, wasted their well, I won't say they wasted the day. They probably well, they did. They wasted the day. They could have been doing something else. They could have been in church or shopping or you know, whatever else they could have been doing, but they chose to come to Rochdale to be let down like that. And um, I think it definitely needs looking into, but like I said, I don't believe Rochdale Rugby League Club are to blame for it. Uh, those guys wanted to play as much as we did. Uh, their uh, club staff wanted to play as much as we did. There were just some issue with people saying health and safety, you know, we can't move the sheet because it might blow off <laughs> or whatever. So uh, so that was a bit of a joke really yesterday. So um, I'm guessing that we will get the two points uh, because the pitch were playable. Nothing wrong with the field. So I'm guessing we will get the two points, which means we'll be five from six in terms of uh, games won, although we didn't play yesterday. Uh, but like I said, it's just a bit of a farce. I think it was a bit of a farce and a lot of people let down yesterday. So that really needs looking into. So that were a little bit of a sore spot for, for, for everybody concerned yesterday. Uh, but what I also did yesterday is I had uh, my first drink of alcohol this side of the new year. Um, and I probably had about three beers altogether yesterday. But then on the way, uh, on the when I got home, uh, we got an Indian lined up, me and the wife, so we had an Indian. So yesterday I compounded my day negatively, no rugby, couple of beers, Indian takeaway. And what, that ha what happened then is this morning I couldn't get out of bed. I go to the gym every single Monday morning, so I'm just going to get on a bit of a... A bit of a spiel about nutrition and stuff here, so if you're not interested in that, feel free, free to, uh, to switch off. But... Um, so I'd had my first drink of alcohol this side of Christmas, this side of New Year, sorry. And uh, normally when my alarm clock goes off Monday morning, about half six, quarter to seven, I'm up, I'm out of bed, make the baby's bottle, take it back up for clear, and then I'm off to the gym. This morning, uh, I snoozed the alarm clock twice, 
which is, like I said, that's not like me. Um, and I was just like walking about like a zombie. I've got to the gym, got the work done, and I'm okay now. Uh, got a good session in. But the thing I want to mention now is how much of a negative effect alcohol and bad food can have on you. And I'm not preaching because, you know, I've gone through life eating shit, picking junk food up, drinking, in fact, drinking plenty of beer in the past, which has led me to getting bothered. You people that know me and know a bit about me will know that uh, the times that I've found myself in uh, spots of bother has been, you know, alcohol has been involved. Uh, so not only does it have a negative effect that way uh, on occasions, but also just how you feel. And your energy and, and you know just and I only had three beers three pints of beer I had yesterday uh, and an Indian takeaway which you know we, we, we still eat uh, takeaway food probably once a month we might have a fish shop or an Indian or whatever it is but how how much that and I know now how bad that can affect you from a energy and performance point of view um, and I think it's because I have gone you know two and a half months without a drop of alcohol I've really noticed it more this morning just three beers so imagine when you're going out on a weekend bender Friday Saturday or you know doing a Sunday session or whatever it is imagine the toll that has on your body but if you're somebody that does that regularly you probably conditioned yourself uh, into that being normal so it's just like oh it just feels normal this is normal I should feel like this so the advice or the tip I want to give here on the back of this video is um, try put yourself on a health kick and just see how much it changes your your whole uh, I won't, yeah it can change your life I don't want to sound too cheesy and, and go that far but uh, how much it can have a positive impact on the way that you feel the way that you perform your energy levels uh, and all that kind of stuff because you know I've been on a health kick since uh, June last year uh, got myself in fantastic condition um, and what I did make a commitment to do was I was going to do dry January, dry, uh, dry January and February, which I, which I did. We're obviously uh, a third of the way into to March now. Um, but what I've noticed just from doing that by not, you know, because after a game normally I would have a beer and maybe a couple of bottles when I got home, you know, just to relax, not get pissed up, but just have a few beers. Uh, but not doing that for two and a half months, what's that, 10 weeks, 10, 11 weeks, um, and then just having three beers yesterday, just three beers and an Indian takeaway, and I couldn't get out of bed this morning, literally, like alarm clock went off, I snoozed it, I never do that, went off again, snoozed it again, <laughs> so, um, so the impact, the negative impact that alcohol and bad food can have on you is, I, I've just found out for myself this morning, so uh, I'm not saying that I'm going to, uh, go teetotal, far from it, but I'm certainly not in no rush to to have a drink again uh, anytime soon uh, because I've just seen at first hand how much of a negative effect it can have on you. So, uh, and here I am trying to um, trying to bring it back, trying to pay it back by drinking my lime and water. Just gonna have a black coffee now and my supplements. I've had my morning shake and stuff after the gym, and I had a pretty good gym session as well, but. Um, like with the gym session, I had a good session, but I, and I know I could have had a better session if I, if I didn't feel like I did this morning. So uh, it's just a compound effect. And over time, when things like that compound and compound and compound, you end up in uh, a place where you might not want to be, particularly if it's around bad food and drink and stuff like that. But flip that over, compound it over time with good stuff, you know, drinking your lime and salt water, uh, eating a bit healthily, um, cutting a bit of meat out, which is something else that I've done, uh, cutting out the alcohol and stuff like that, and you feel great, you look great, you have no problem getting up on a morning, um, and like I said, I've just experienced that first hand this morning, so, uh, so yeah, that's all I've got for you today, I hope you all have a great week, um, what have I got on this week, we've got a, uh, we've got a coaching call at 12 o'clock today from uh, one of our company's owners, and then I've got my rugby stuff this week and I'm at uh, Harrogate tonight for the Knights, uh, Harrogate Knights supporters group meeting. So I'm heading over there tonight as well. So decent week in front. I hope you all have a great week. Thanks for watching as always. Let me know your opinions on the Rochdale thing uh, and let me know your opinions on the nutrition thing or if you're in interested in discussing it more, reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to have a chat. So have a great week. Thanks for watching. See you all again soon.